All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Lauren Richardson here. And yes, we did have some wicked weather yesterday with some of those wind gusts knocking down some tree branches as well as some power lines. And also we had some thunderstorms just roll through our state as well as some heavy rainfall. So today is a different story. Look at this start. Actually, it's a gorgeous start in Old Saybrook, but it is a chilly start out there. Blue skies, though, and we're going to be seeing a good amount of sunshine for today. And uh, actually, as we head towards the afternoon, that's when the clouds are going to build in and that's when we have the chance of another uh, potential for some showers. But these showers are going to be very light and they're going to pass through pretty quickly through the overnight hours. So here's a look at our early warning pinpoint Doppler this morning, scanning the state completely dry after yesterday. And yes, a chilly next couple of days on tap. So you need to keep that winter jacket handy. Today's high temperatures are only going to be in the upper 40s. Yeah, I know. And then rain and snow showers are possible for tonight with a weak low pressure pressure system expected to bring some of those showers, specifically those snow showers only for northern locations, really in the northwest hills where those elevations are higher. We could be seeing just a little bit of light accumulation on the ground as we wake up this morning or tomorrow morning. Uh, we might see that so more rainfall for late next week. I've got a question mark there because the timing is still uncertain with a cold front expected to move through from Thursday evening into Friday morning. So Friday morning's commute might be a wet one. Temperatures across our state right now. We are chilly, so anywhere from 29 degrees in Willimantic Burr, and you can see 42 degrees in New Haven. So that's our warm spot this morning along the shoreline. Seems to be a little bit better. However, that wind chill, those winds coming in actually making it feel a little bit colder in locations like Salisbury and Putnam this morning, where it still feels like we're in the upper 20s. Wind speeds coming in from the west, anywhere from calm to six miles per hour. And yeah, today a pretty nice day, especially compared to yesterday. So partly sunny skies will develop into to some cloud cover this afternoon and then those showers. We're not talking about showers until 10 11 midnight tonight. So you can see those clouds just building and gradually through the day today inland and same thing uh, as we head along the shoreline. Some areas might hit 50 degrees, so that might be about the warmest that we get for today. You can see that future cast shows us those clouds in the afternoon and then once again that weak low pressure system. You can see it to the west of us and it moves in about uh, 10 o'clock at night, maybe 11 o'clock. So this is a look at 11 o'clock at night. According to our early warning weather future cast, you could see some snowfall in the northwest hills, uh, but some light rain showers along the coastline. This isn't going to be too much of anything. Not a great impact at all for tomorrow. You could see some sprinkles, maybe some very light showers through the day. For the most part, though, it does look like tomorrow uh, we stay dry, but we did keep those rain icons on there just in case you might see a sprinkle, a snow shower or a light uh, amount of drizzle out there. But you can see for 47 degrees on Tuesday, breezy conditions, uh, some sunshine Wednesday, some more cloud cover Thursday into Friday. Once again, that's when we're tracking that potential for that cold front and 64 degrees on Thursday. So that's a great improvement temperature wise, especially compared to these highs in the upper 40s. But it looks like we get back there for next weekend. 